I should probably mention, don't do this project, like, at all. It has the risk of exploding and killing you, so just don't do it, okay? Here's the plan for the potato cannon. It's made out of five pieces of PVC pipe. We have a three inch cap at the end, a three inch segment of PVC pipe, a three inch to one and a half inch reducer, and then a one and a half inch segment of PVC pipe. This three inch segment is the combustion chamber. This is where our hairspray will go. There is a barbecue ignition, there's a barbecue igniter. Whenever you press the button on the barbecue igniter, it provides a spark which ignites the hairspray, causing a combustion reaction to occur. The combustion reaction produces lots of different gases. The gases are forced through into the one and a half inch PVC pipe barrel. The potato will be pushed through the barrel. It's a breech loading, so what that means is you put the potato here and you just kind of push it down into the barrel of the potato gun itself. So when the combustion happens, the gases will be pushed out this way. They'll push the potato out of the barrel of the potato gun and give it that projectile motion. For our potato cannon, we're going to be using a can of hairspray as the fuel, as the propellant, um, which is going to combust in the combustion chamber and produce gases that will expand and push the potato out of the barrel of the cannon, providing the thrust. The second ingredient in the can of hairspray is something called dimethyl ether. It's basically just a hydrocarbon, carbon and hydrogen. It burns in the presence of oxygen to create carbon dioxide and water vapor. Both of those gases will expand in the combustion chamber and push the potato out of the barrel of the cannon. The third ingredient in the hairspray is something called SD alcohol uh, 40B, which is basically ethanol, which is the alcohol in the alcoholic beverages that you drink, but it has been, it has added ingredients to make it toxic for human consumption. Um, so it's basically just ethanol, which also combusts in the same way that dimethyl ether does to produce CO2 and H2O, which will also expand to push the potato out of the barrel of the potato cannon. There are other flammable goodies inside the can of hairspray, um, and they will also combust to produce CO2 and H2O and other gases. So this is the ignition system we're going to be using. It's a barbecue igniter um, replacement for your grill. Uh, it comes with other parts, but the only two parts we need are the ignition wire and the grounding wire. The ignition wire gets hooked on to this part right here, and the grounding wire gets hooked on to this part right here. And then whenever you push the red button, it will create a spark between the red wire and the black wire. All right, so we've got the primer on the outside. Now we're gonna apply the glue and on the top two, just to put the pieces of our potato cannon together. Okay, quickly. Quarter turning motion. There's our potato cannon all glued together. Got the combustion chamber. Got the wire sticking out for our ignition source, and we have the barrel where the potato will be launched from. We should get it down too far. In the hole. Woo! 
There's potato stuffed in there. You can kind of see that the barrel is blocked. Just the volatile density might not be enough, ready? Push! <laughs> There's the potato! That was good!